just like someone who's grieving, individuals who lose their hearing often pass through stages. Living and coping with a type of genetic hearing loss herself, Sherry Eberts has identified 10 specific stages to which many people with hearing loss can relate. Let's take a look at them. Denial. At this stage, you may think that it's someone else's fault that you can't hear well. Typical comments include, why isn't the volume turned up? Why are you mumbling? I hate it when people don't speak clearly. Next comes fear. Somewhere deep down inside, you have a clue that you might be losing your hearing, but you hope it really isn't true. Then you become angry. It's starting to sink in that you really do have hearing loss, but that doesn't mean you're happy about it. For some, the stage of sadness might actually turn into depression. For others, it might just mean that you're sad about the loss you've experienced and the feeling of social isolation and aloneness that hearing loss can bring. In the stage of realization, now it's really hit home. But you realize you can do something about the situation and you need help for your hearing loss. Realizing you need help brings you to the stage of action. You talk to your spouse or family members about your hearing loss and you make an appointment with an audiologist for a full hearing evaluation. Once you start getting treatment for your hearing loss and you're using assistive listening devices recommended by your audiologist, sometimes frustration sets in. You still can't hear perfectly. Unfortunately, the best hearing solution isn't always found overnight, and many individuals find that even the best doesn't compare to normal, natural hearing. Hearing well requires work. Work on your attitude toward your loss and working with your audiologist to find the best hearing technology to meet your needs. Keep trying new devices until you find which combination leaves you hearing the best. You may not like it, but you finally accepted the fact that you have hearing loss and you're getting treatment. You're beginning to hear better, you're learning how to function in society with your new ears, and you're truly living. The last stage is advocacy for yourself and for others. You realize you're not the only one who's ever had the life-changing diagnosis of hearing loss. In fact, more people are being diagnosed every day. What can you do to help them get through this just like you have? Hearing loss certainly creates challenges, there's no doubt about that. The people who are most successful in coping with it, however, know that having a treatment plan is critical. Give us a call today so we can start helping you get the treatment plan that works best for you.